Hello friends, I am Shravana and welcome back to my channel Sparkling Future. Today we will discuss about multi-threading concept. Before starting with the today's topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel and also please like, share, comment and hit the bell icon for the latest video notifications. Thank you. So process of uh, executing multi-thread simultaneously is called as multi-threading. So this allows us to perform multiple tasks independently and concurrently. So in Scala, threads can be created using two mechanisms that we will see with a sample code. Okay. So um, I mean by um, usually if you have worked with in Java, you might have encountered this multi-threading there also, right? It's actually similar. And uh, threads means when you submit the code, how each and every task will be performed. So if you come to the JVM part, it will execute all the tasks in the form of threads because the, the memory consumption is very less and it is very quicker to get the results. So that's why all these are using uh, the multi-threading concept. So each and every thread has uh, five, five stages. Okay. So first when a thread is created, it will be in the new uh, state. and when it is uh, thread is created and it's ready for running then we can say that it is in runnable stage and next one is when exactly the task is getting performed by the thread then we say that the thread is running and when a thread is alive and it might be waiting for some other computation or some other resources then we call that as blocked status or waiting status and finally once the task is completed once the thread is not alive then we call the task thread is terminated so we have different stages like new runnable running blocked or waiting terminated okay so now as i just said we can create a thread using two types or two ways in scala one is by extending the thread class okay and thread class is the default class provided by Scala or Java so we can extend the thread class also we can implement the runnable interface okay using these two methods we can create threads in the in Scala so now we will see one example uh, code example to see how can we extend the thread class and also how can we implement the runnable interface so first uh, let me create a sample class which extends the thread class and inside that th the thread class uh, has a default method I mean in the inbuilt method called run. So whenever we have we are using this one we have to overwrite the run method. So you can uh, give your exact uh, uh, working code here we will just say running and inside this uh, main uh, object I will uh, create the main method okay and let me create the object here for this uh, a3 class and now we have to invoke the run method right so start is the uh, inbuilt method available in the thread class which in invokes this run method okay now let me save and let me run this code and you can see it, it's invoked I mean here you are calling the start but it is invoking the run method and we are writing so this is how we will extend the thread these are the thread uh, methods and uh, the second one next let's see how to implement the runnable interface okay runnable and again we have to uh, override the run function And here let's uh, create uh, the object for a4 class okay now we need to pass this uh, object which is instance to the thread class so we'll say uh, thread class equal to new thread and we have to pass this object because we are implementing the runnable interface here okay we are not ext extending the thread directly so this is the way we will pass the uh, what to say object to the thread class for implementing the runnable interface and again the similar way we can start 
and let's run the code <coughs> and you can see here it, it has printed the thread is running which means that we, uh, this uh, thread class is the main class which will have uh, inbuilt run method and using the start we can uh, invoke the run method and <coughs> for using the runnable interface I mean for implementing the runnable interface we can uh, uh, do it uh, similar way but uh, <coughs> sorry for that while uh, uh, creating the object you have to pass that object as an instance to the thread and then you have to start okay this is the way we will implement the runnable interface okay so and all these threads how many uh, I mean every program has uh, multiple tasks right so <coughs> the threads uh, that uh, that run actually they they all run like concurrently and uh, independent to the each other I mean they they may not run sequentially they can run in any order uh, so we cannot control that and uh, so actually uh, by extending uh, this uh, thread right so each of uh, your uh, thread whatever how many threads are there so uh, if each for each thread one unique object will be associated with that but whereas if you uh, use the runnable interface then they will use the same object you can see here right F for this thread there is one if a, if a new thread then then there is another uh, object you may need to create but whereas for this thread for the for implementing the runnable interface you can pass the same object to the multiple threads here okay this is this is why the memory consumption is also very less in runnable interface and it will be performance also it will be good because of the reuse so uh, and uh, when to use uh, thread and uh, I mean when to implement the runnable interface and when to extend the thread is um, like when you want to access the same resources from the group of threads then use the runnable interface and uh, usually as we, we just discussed right multiple object creation is uh, memory consumption process right so avoid uh, thread class when you wanted to access multiple resources and uh, most of the cases if you want to override the run method then use the runnable interfaces if there you wanted to use other methods then use the class thread class like other methods means there are methods like join sleep and uh, yield method is there in the thread class so usually you might have seen thread dot sleep right for holding the thread for some time to make it to sleep for thousand seconds or something right so for such kind of uh, procedure we will use this uh, thread class and uh, usually uh, runnable uh, is the preferable okay for because this makes our class very flexible and we can uh, uh, using uh, for thread only we can use or extends to only one class but runnable you can add any other classes for them using the multiple interface as well okay multiple interface as well so hope uh, you understood the differences between these things and what is a multi-threading friends thank you for watching the video okay please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learnings thank you